So, and everything, they, they always said every good thing, all good things, and uh, well, everything that's good or bad that happens, it always happens in three. So now I feel like this is a, a good situation. That, that the best things in, in life that comes in threes, and, and all three of them hit, like two of them hit yesterday, and then it finally hit the, the third one uh, today. And I was excited to get uh, started with the news on, on that. So right off the, uh, the, off the jump, I want to talk about Bad Boys 3. So it was already rumored that uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence were going to be doing uh, Bad Boys 3. And they finally, finally uh, announced it. I think Will Smith announced it on his Twitter. I want to say I want to say it was Twitter where he announced that uh, they were filming, they were in, they're in Atlanta, it was, and from what I heard from the news, the movie news around there, there's a lot of uh, backed up traffic and whatnot in one scene that they were, you know, what they were working on, and it ca it was causing a lot of uh, who knows what uh, what kind of mess Will Smith and when Martin Lawrence are on the scene, and with uh, you you got Michael Bay out there blowing stuff up, who knows what was happening, right? But I don't have any news to report on that. I don't have any footage or anything to report on that stuff. Uh, I'm just happy to hear on on the unofficial outlet that uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are actually out and about, you know, doing their thing. So the interesting thing about uh, uh, this is that it finally it took so long, and it, it Will Smith had been doing so many other projects that it was it just kind of came out of nowhere. It was always rumored that uh, Michael Bay and has finally had some time to sit down with, with Smith and Lawrence to, to finally get this off the ground. And after everything that I'm seeing, I think this should probably be the last one. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of talk about a third and a fourth one. Who knows if that's going to happen? It all depends on how well this one does. But I'm excited about it, and I'm sure it's going to crush at the box office. And Will Smith is still a, a huge draw. Everybody's been wanting a part three for the longest. I'm still surprised that they didn't do a back-to-back to back to back uh, sequels, this could have been uh, this could have been the in the void of what the Fast and the Furious franchise uh, filled up. I, I think it. I really believe that it was because because of that that void that uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence left and Michael Bay uh, left because you know he moved on to bigger things. He's had a lot of projects juggling around at the same time. You can't blame him for uh, striking while the iron is hot. I think this could have been if he would have stepped to the side and let other directors get involved, and he just played up. Um, executive producer especially after the sequel i think that this could have filled that void that that uh, the fast and the furious universal saw was left open and they just struck while the iron is hot they transformed themselves uh, no pun intended and kind of got right there and and saw an opportunity and i feel like uh, that was an opportunity to miss for michael bay but hey we're getting the third one so i'm happy to uh, to see that also uh <sighs> Who knew if this was true or not? But it looks like it's finally happened. You know, you get Dan Erko where he goes on the internet all the time, and you know he's rambling like a crazy person about to uh, about the sequel to the um, Ghostbusters franchise. It was rumored uh, that they were going to do a, a Ghostbusters on an alternative uh, universe or an alternative timeline where uh, all these universes and whatnot were going to uh, meet up. Who knew? Who knows what Dan Erko was really talking about? He was just rambling on like a crazy person. Man, I'm surprised he isn't president. But he, he just went on and on and on and on and on. It was just crazy. And then finally, it looked like there's some truth to it. It looks like we got a little teaser. You got Ecto-1. Uh, Sony finally uh, released some official. Uh, Sony's crushing it right now, man. And, uh, and I'll get into a little bit uh, why later on. But it uh, looks like things are happening. The whole Men in Black and... Um, and uh, what was the other crossover? Uh, 21 Jump Street thing didn't happen. I think they were talking about um, uh, doing something with Ghostbusters in that realm as well. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows, man? Uh, Sony's involved. So let's see what happens with that. And 